Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mandy Voices. Don't. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> we're not starting with that i was gonna make a joke and i was like my i had a joke in mind and then it literally flew out so i was like don't where am i (laughs) (laughs) all right that's just for you this is how we're really starting the episode hey uh how's it going grace what how'd i get here me neither who am i 12 (laughs) (laughs) welcome back to manly voices we don't know how to do intros at all. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. Yeah, but that made me laugh. Yeah, and that's what's most important. Yeah. Grace is here. You she's, know, this, she's might, this playthrough might be like our Phoenix Wright playthrough and have zero views. Um, Like literally zero. Whatever. That is so... It's my... Like, granted, we, our first we, episode... We do this to make each other laugh, and if, if other people laugh along with us, then that's great. The first episode didn't have a capture card, so I get it. Yeah. But, like, Phoenix Wright is what brought us together. We yeah. named our cats after them. Seriously. I know. To yeah. sponsor us. Um, yeah, but this Nintendo? is not what we're... Phoenix Wright is not what we're Capcom? playing. Capcom? What is Phoenix Wright? His, his? It's Capcom. I only know that because he's in Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, but that's not what we're playing. We're playing World End Syndrome. Uh, vi- uh, and visual then novel. everyone clicks off. They're like, oh, fuck. This is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> it's, oh, a, shit. it's a visual novel. Mysterious. Uh, intriguing. <laughs> synonyms. Words. We're go- we just woke up with a girl in our bed, and she I had may- mu- mucho cleavage. I may have mixed some lemonade with white wine, and That's I'm okay. a little pickle. Hey, there's a guy around my age here at the mansion. What? My cousin? So wait, like, can I fuck him or no? <laughs> Is it kind of in that gray area, and we're going to lean into that a lot? Okay. Uh, Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I told you, all of my family died in a fire, and <laughs> I have no one left in this world. I told you, you can't just spray important stuff like this on me. You have to tell me ahead of time. Well, whose kid is he? What? Uncles? Wives? Sisters? Ugh, whatever. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Whoever he is, I don't want him here. I'm hanging up now. Bye. She hangs up her phone, clearly upset, and glares at me. I didn't me. really think that uh, additive was needed. Didn't think I'd have a roommate. <sighs> Uncle never tells me anything. I never heard there'd be someone here already either. Sorry. Uh, so fucking cliche. Why are you apologizing to me for? Is that gonna change anything? Are you gonna move out now or something? No, I mean... So, according to Uncle, this is really happening. Why do I have to share a roof with somebody like you? Someone who clearly doesn't have a home alarm system. (laughs) I mean, you were here before me. Why didn't you get a home alarm system? I know ninjutsu. I don't need a goddamn alarm system. So I guess you should tell me your name then at least. Huh? Didn't he tell you just now? Weren't you listening to me on the phone? I hung up before I could ask. Then why didn't you ask before you hung up? I was really ticked off she's really short-tempered so i really just kind of like uh just did this voice just to start but like i think it works yeah so say it state your name night creeper she's the one who creeped on me but i can't i can see myself getting a punch in the face if i tell her that our Um, uncle is um, professor oak and we're pokemon rivals so we can change our name here if we want to but do we want to keep taco beru kind of like taco I like Taco Bell. I was either going to do Taco Bell or Tough Noodle. I also like Windy Zoo. <laughs> Windy Zoo? I kind of <laughs> like that. I like Tough, but like T... Something like... Tough Nudes. T-O-P-H, Tough. Tough Nudes. And Nuduru. Nuduru. We can keep Taco Bell. Let's keep Taco Bell. <laughs> it seems like too much work to come up with a new name now. Taco Beru? Who's that? Never heard of you. Are you really my cousin? That's what I'm supposed to say. Are you saying that, like, you have monopoly over certain lines? Because, like, that's a bullshit. Yeah. What? I'm the protagonist You want to get here. kicked out? You want to get your ass beat? That's also what I'm supposed to say, I think, but I hold it in. 
Hold it in like a goddamn fart. <laughs> so apparently your uncle's wife's lover's mistress or something. What? <laughs> like the child part wasn't added in. And I think that's a really important fact to point in that your uncle's wife's lover's mistress's son. But instead, you're just a mistress. So we really have to be like really decent cousins. So we're gonna state that out now, kind of like Honey Pop does, so that like it's okay for us to fuck. That's not really what he said, is it? Why are you arguing with me so much right now? Um, apparently I was here with my parents about 10 years ago. And you died? And now you're back 10 years later, or 100 years later? We didn't So <laughs> weird. Oh my gosh, 10 years ago? Oh my god, I was like 14. Uh, I think I remember something like that. It was when Grandpa died. Yeah, he died. <laughs> Grandpa's dead? <laughs> yeah, and I was still little, so I don't remember much. There were a lot of relatives, and us kids were playing... I vaguely remember that, you but instead too? I was outside smoking in the treehouse and like sexting my boyfriend. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> I remember having. I don't trouble. know what she actually said. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, she's, she was there basically. Okay, I, I was in the zone. I remember having trouble fitting in with the group. Oh, but also I also recall a really bossy girl. Are you trying to say that was me? I'm seriously gonna kick your ass. Oh. I mean, sorry. You apologize really quickly. It's uh, kind of hot, because then I get to take control, and you are totally my sub. I was about to say sorry again, but I hold it in at the last second. And if you want to be a sub like this bitch, how about you subscribe? <laughs> Way to plug. Uh, my, my, me, Kuzunose. Kuzunose. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is it supposed to be like who's a nose, eh? No, it's, just, it's because he's the cousin nose. <laughs> That's my name. I have. That's my name. I haven't told you. I'm cousin nose. Miami. Oh, it is Miami. <laughs> it's Miami. Oh, it's not my my. Uh... Yeah, that, that anyone with dyslexia is gonna have a hard time with that name. I have mild dyslexia. It's, uh, uh, I'm... Her my her name is Miami Cousinose. I have really bad dyslexia with numbers. Yeah. I'm okay with math, though, but, like, I swear to God, numbers just, like... Because, like, I understand the numbers concept, so I might not have, like, officially, like, numbers dyslexia. Sure. But when it comes to work, like, if there's no dashes, man, I get, like... If there's, like, a four-digit number combination... Whoa. I... All right. <laughs> I re remember it in a completely different order. Just so you know, every new character is going to get an introduction like that. Hot. <laughs> oh. Miami. I, Miami, who's your nose? <laughs> Miami cousin nose. <laughs> Ew, don't say Miami like that. It sounds gross. Uh, yeah. Ew. You said you were transferring to Mahati High School, right? <laughs> what grade are you in? Like, second? I'm a junior. Like, a junior young person? <laughs> <laughs> we're to, we're to <laughs> bring it home. <laughs> I had a, see, like earlier, before we started like the episode, I had a joke and it flew out my brain. Yeah, this is it away. was like like one of the bats. From junior, last like, and then you just heard my brain go beep. Junior. And then my subconscious like, we we got him, we got him, we can bring it back. Junior, more like flu near. <laughs> see, that would even be better than whatever the fuck I, I, I said. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you would if you weren't such a little pleb. Okay. For real, <laughs> like, same here. Oh, so we're the same age. Nice to meet you. It's not nice. Stop acting like you know me. No, I mean, if we're in the same grade, I'll feel better with you around, Miss Smiley. Don't call me that either. Uh, uh, Mammy? <laughs> my, my, May? Just my, me, 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 She it's, doesn't even know her. <laughs> I, my brain wants to say Miami, but it's not right. It's if you want to say Miami, Miami it's Miami? like whatever. My, Miami. Miami. My, Miami. <laughs> it's like, so Just say my, my, Miami if it makes it easier for you. I'm like a goddamn dolphin. Let's do this. <laughs> With a cousin like you around, Miami. Anyway, when are you starting school? Like next fucking year? I was thinking. Far away from me. I was thinking about going starting tomorrow on Monday. <laughs> Only losers start on Monday. I'm not going to walk with you, so don't expect me to. I won't. 
good gosh. Who would have thought Miami Hoosier nose would end up in a boy's bedroom? <laughs> um, about that. Your bedroom's the one up the stairs on the right, isn't it? How did you get that wrong? Because I was drunk off my tits. I got... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting distracted by, own my, by my own reflection, and so I'll, like, get into character and then uh-huh. get distracted. I got a little drunk at a friend's birthday party. She turned what? 12. You drank alcohol? <laughs> It was a 12-year-old birthday party. It was fucking lit. I'm sure they're at least 17. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she just crashed some 12-year-old's birthday party is kind of where she I was going at. She really young. Of course not, idiot. I was tricked into it. What are they called again? Whiskey bonbons or something? Ooh, I want a whiskey bonbon. The baby eat a piece of chocolate with alcohol in it. It's extremely intolerant. She's extremely intolerant. Oh, I'm <laughs> extremely intolerant. <sighs> I remember making it home, but I have no recollection of anything after that. Jesus Christ, you Sounds have Sounds like you were loaded. wasted. How many did you eat? One whole piece. One? Just one? I just, like, smell alcohol and I get drunk. <laughs> I just said that. Don't make me repeat myself. I'm intolerant. Also of people. <laughs> yeah. I can't go eating whiskey chocolates. I don't like white people. <laughs> <laughs> Family voices. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I just want to know how she'll react to weed brownies. Oh, yeah. I can't go eating whiskey chocolates. I wouldn't have gone to the wrong room otherwise. Hey, you didn't try any funny stuff while I was asleep, right? <laughs> Rape <laughs> jokes. <laughs> no, I didn't. Rape jokes are, like, so funny. <laughs> Not. Guess I can't kick you out of the place anytime soon, then. Can we establish some house rules? Sure. So, so, rule number one. Um, always skip uh, season one, except for the pilot, because then you get to say she's your co- she's my cousin. She's my cousin. One time when we watched House, it was the pilot, I think, and uh, our subtitles got broken, and so it just said uh, where he he's trying to like convince House to take the case, and he just like offhandedly goes like she's my cousin, but it got stuck on the screen, and so for the whole episode we kept looking at each other going she's my cousin. And she'd be like seizing and be like, well she's my cousin. <laughs> And then it was a thing throughout, like, the whole show for us. <laughs> and she's our cousin. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. And now we're going to bring it back. <laughs> we're uh, going to inject that into this Oh, God, this what would flavor. I do without you? <laughs> the door the door on the right at the end of the hall is mine. I don't have a lock on it because I don't have... <laughs> no home alarm system. <laughs> it's come full circle. <laughs> so you always knock, understand? Okay. Knock like dun 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 dun. Otherwise, I think you're like somebody else, and like <laughs> I won't let you in. You won't tell anyone at school that the two of us live together. I don't need unnecessary drama. Got it? Sure. I mean, we could just tell people we're related and then just leave it at that. But like, no, we're gonna just like be total strangers, and then people are gonna find out that we live together, and it's gonna be like a huge thing, and like episode five. But like right now, we're just gonna lie to everybody because that makes sense. And now, cleaning. You get the weekdays, I'll do the weekends, okay? That seems really unfair. Okay. Hey, hey, wait, wait. So you're only cleaning on Saturday and Sunday? Ugh, why are you so picky? This is why you'll never attract a girl. Are you some kind of nerd? A nerd? There. You said it. You called yourself a nerd. Now we're good. <laughs> now that's all settled, get cleaning already. Look now at the these. character archetypes have been established. Look at these empty snack bags. Those were here when I got here. That's all your mess. Mm, I don't think so. Well, I guess I'll go take another nap. I'll leave the rest to you. Even though it's technically Sunday. Miami traipses back up the stairs to her room. I have to clean every weekday, huh? Well, let's see how well this turns out. Cinderella, Cinderella. And this is the bizarre way my life in Mihate Town began. Almost hey, fucking. Wait, like isn't today Sunday? Uh, that's what I said. Yeah. All right, we're gonna skip saving until the next time. Yeah, but it's like pre Monday, so. Pre Monday. Hey, do I have any English says today? I totally forgot. Same. You think I'll have a chance if I flip through the vocab list right before? I mean, that's how I got through. Did you hear about Calorie and making a new club? I heard it's not an official school club yet, though. I hear they, like, read books and write poetry. I think she called it the Tribal for Studies Research Club. I joined it just to be around that teacher. The teacher is just a squid person. Ah, <laughs> uh, stand up! Face forward, bow. <laughs> Ooh. 
Good morning. <laughs> She's the English teacher. <laughs> She's trying to give you some culture. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It sure feels nice out today. I like to stand out on my balcony naked and feel the cool air on my titties. <laughs> yeah. So she's Kaori Yamashiro. Miss Yamashiro, is it true we're getting a chance to study? <gasps> oh, you're awfully quick and really annoying. What? Where did you hear that? I heard there was a fresh-faced looking boy by the oh, teacher's that's, office. That's female student A. I already got them mixed up, so it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's already a big rumor around the girls. In yeah, the but girls I heard he was room. talking to you, Kaori. I mean, Miss Yamashiro. Rumors spread faster here than on the internet. Uh, faster than porn <clears throat> and viruses. <laughs> You're right. <What? laughs> so I can cut right to the chase. <clears throat> well, you know, because I'm listening to the conversations. The, okay. From the hall or the classroom door, I'm nervous. So even though sometimes I don't... people go on the internet and look up porn. <clears throat> I'm nervous, even though I don't care about any of this. I just want to watch porn. And you get viruses really quick. It's like computer chlamydia. <laughs> Well, let's get him introduced. <laughs> <laughs> this is Computer Chlamydia. <laughs> also known as Taco Bell. I hate Bell. that we can't use it as our title. Yeah. Um, well, let's get him introduced. Come on in. I swallow the extra spit in my mouth. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone unsubscribes. This is stupid. Why am I getting nervous? I don't care about this. I place my hand on the doorknob and open the door with determination. And I'm rock hard! <laughs> All eyes turn towards me and my <laughs> pelvis. <laughs> my rock hard cock. As if to avoid them, I quickly rush to the teacher's lectern. And s- where my where my dick is completely hidden by wood. Or it just like goes through the like More like the wood is completely hidden by dick. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us today in 2A. She's, I don't think she's that quite seductive. Everyone says they want to join her club because she's hot. She is hot, but I don't think she, like, flaunts it. Okay, fine. Or tries All to. right, I'll try it. I'll try something else. It's, flaunting her sex appeal is more of the blue-haired writer's thing, I think. Well, how was I supposed to know that? You didn't tell me. Well, that's that's my insider knowledge. <laughs> from Miss pl- Yamashiro Korin stops for a, a moment. A.K.A. A- a- Kaorin stops for a moment, stares Whatever. at me. Whatever. I want to try the new voice. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> Ow, I felt, okay, there's, like, tendon in my, like, right here in my, like, chin, like, kind of my chin, kind of my neck. Oh, just I've, like, I've done that before. Yeah, it, like, it, like, tensed and felt like it jumped and, yeah. like, I felt like I was choking. This is a taco better. I bet I'll better? <laughs> I'm sure he's in for me with the first thing she was the police teacher right just about to screw, but about town. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I'm so hot and I want to go to the club. Everybody wants to join my club. <laughs> I'll find some. I'll, we're going to put that voice on another character, I, I <sighs> promise. But Okay, fine. Help me with this. I don't know. Uh, business voice. Not, not like business, but not, like not, not, not my cu- professional. Not my customer service voice? Yeah. <sighs> Hello, Fred Meyer shoppers. <laughs> The time is now 11 p.m. and at this point, the store is closed. At this point, this episode is closed. I'm trying to think of how it goes. Um, please bring all your belongings up to the register, where our cashier will be happy to assist you. I always liked saying that because uh, I could feel the rage coming off of Check Stand Four of like, yeah, I'm happy to assist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure he's unfamiliar with a lot of things here, so please teach him not just about the school, but about town. That's what that works. Well then. Why don't you just say a word? Uh, chlamydia. <laughs> yes. Cow. <laughs> I look through the slightly downcast eyes. My heart begins beating faster. Uh, Maybe I am Cheddar cheese. After all. My name is Taco Bell. Pleased to meet you all. I say, <clears throat> I say that and bow. There's a small <laughs> sc- a scattering of claps. He, he bows so hard that he squishes a quesadilla. Question. A boy raises his hand energetically. Uh, he looks what? familiar. Why did you decide to come to this town out of here in the countryside? Is that family here, you fucking nosy prick? Yeah. That's his family's business, obviously. Anyway, Mr. Bowdoo, your seat will be by the window. Hey, 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 hey! That was cold, Kaurin! Maybe because it was none of your fucking business. 
next to the boy who's shouting right now. Do you huh? want to get paddled? Oh, here? I think you want to get paddled. All right. Hey, new kid! Over here! Over here! Clearly, you are the me. sidekick. The entire classroom bursts into laughter. This boy must be the class crown. Clown. Or the troublemaker. The class crown. The class crown. He is the king of bullshit. <laughs> the bu I bow again and make my way to the back of class. The other students throw me curious looks. Ugh, take it! Take the looks! <laughs> hey, new kid. You're super lucky you got into this class. Our teacher's got killer ass. Is that right? He starts talking to me as soon as I sit down. Kaorin's Mihate High School Super Madonna. Just look at her beauty. With his when she sings like a virgin, I just I, <laughs> yeah. I take another look at my homeroom teacher, Miss Yamashiro. It's, it's like all your masculine desires are being purged just by breathing the same air purged. as her. Know what I mean? No. Masculine desires? Hey, Asagi, you're freaking loud. Yeah, what a creep. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here. I'm teaching the new kid a thing or two. How about we teach him something in class, like a Sheesh. normal fucking person? Oh, my name's Kensuke Ag Asagi. Nice to meet you. Okay, so Ken Sagi. Ken Asagi Ken. Sagi Ken. <laughs> like, can we call him Sagi, Sagi Ken, Ken, please? He sticks his hand out. And it's so moist. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself shaking it instinctively. Uh, it's, it's, how is your skin so waterlogged? Oh my god. No more chatting, Mr. Soggy. Can, Mr. Soggy. Can, can, can I begin the class now? No because objections. Clearly you're in charge here. The class laughs again. I guess he is the class clown. Let's turn to page 200. And, what's it? 394. Three, let's turn to page 394. And then turn to page 49, because, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> How thin and are our textbooks? textbooks? Um, I have textbooks that had 394 pages. Oh, okay. The connection between secular and supernatural beliefs is essential. Wait, 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 I want to learn about that. The sound of Miss Yamashiro writing on the chalkboard fills the room. I feel everyone's attention shifting from me. <laughs> it's a sort of liberating sensation. Is there some meaning behind my being here? The lukewarm wind of June blows in from the window. I slowly close my eyes and focus on the ASMR sensation of the wind on my cheek. What's the ASMR for wind on the cheek? <laughs> At that moment, I got the wind knocked out of me. I feel the sting of a freezing cold gaze hitting me from the opposite direction. Uh. Is this my Mia voice? Or no? <sighs> from the back of the classroom by the by the door, a girl is staring at me with a strong and shiver-inducing glare. What? It's only for a moment. She suddenly turns to face the blackboard. It was like she was looking directly into my heart. I've been stabbed by that girl, that glare, <laughs> once uh, before. Uh, the night I arrived in this town. And then she turned into bats. My heart begins to pound. What sound do bats make? Bats make sound. Yeah, they make squeaky sounds, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, but my heart begins to pound even harder than when I was standing at the lectern earlier, when my dick was super, you know... Exposed. <laughs> exploded. Okay. All right. Let's save our progress. Sure. But I'm intrigued. Where do you keep going? We're just going to save. This is also the first uh, playthrough we're recording on the PS4, so that's exciting. I wasn't going to say anything, so I want to, like... Hmm. Well, the interface is, yeah. seems obvious. Maybe. Well, I didn't want to, like, um, uh, jinx it. Oh, sure, right. My long first day of being a transfer student is coming to an end. Kensuke Asagi uh, that is... Was a, wait, that line felt very doki-doki. Did it? Oh, like the school day is over before I know it kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and it's yeah. coming to an end. And we're about to join a club, so there you go. Can we join the <laughs> Making Snowflakes Out of Paper Club? Sure. Making unnecessary litter on the ground? Yeah. Kensuke Sagi. Sagi Ken! Is more meddling than I had imagined. Hmm? Huh? He's more generous than I'd imagined. He's got a huge dick! <laughs> he taught me everything from the lockers to purchasing lunch tickets. Mystery Club? Wait, are we going to be a um, Scooby-Doo? It's hard to explain, but kind of. I want to be a Scooby-Doo. 
Yep, officially it's a tribal studies research club. Kaori Yamashiro is recruiting a few students as a trial. The Tribal Studies Research Club is called the Mystery Club? That doesn't look it as a That's a, That's weird. Wouldn't it be the Tribal Club? Well, nobody knows exactly what kind of activities they'll do. People are saying they're going to solve ancient questions. So, like a Mystery like, Research Club. did the chicken come first or the egg? Yeah, Mystery Research. So it's Mystery Club for short. Exactly. Kaoring teaches Japanese history, but her specialty is in Tribal Studies. I don't know what that means. But she's gonna kill her ass, so I'm gonna join. You said Miss Yamashiro was recruiting people for the club. Does that mean she's not accepting applications? Right. Well, you know, a lot of guys want to be around her just because of her. You know, just because of her. So maybe she'll get bombarded with applications if she just let anyone apply normally. Plus, she's on a hot streak recently. A hot streak? I love voicing. Ooh, you didn't know? <laughs> She wrote a book last year, and it sold like crazy. It sold like three copies. It's called World End. You know, it sold more copies than we have viewers. <laughs> and it's a romance novel based on the Yomi Bito legend from here, Mihate Town. It's been out for about a year, but they're There's even like talking about making it into dicks. movies. Plasmic ticks. Manly voices. <laughs> wow. So, all things considered, Kaorin's popularity is skyrocketing. She won't even let me into this club of her. Hers. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did you want to get in, Kensuke? It's like a stick, like a stick club made of entirely of her flesh. Of course! I'd do anything to be in a club with her as the advisor. I even made a request to join. Then she told me I had to write a report if I wanted to join, and I poured my heart and soul into that essay. Even then, she dropped me. Damn, Kaorin, you're such a tease. Really? There's another reason I want to be in the Mystery Club. That is... He stops right there, then leans in close to whisper the rest to me. The people she's led into the Mystery Club are all top-notch hotties! Is that right? <sighs> well, they all have some personality defects, <laughs> but still... <laughs> huh? Uh, is our cousin in the club? Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, I hope you join the club. Come on, let's go! No. Oh. No, I'm not interested in tribal studies or a mystery club. I want to join the anime club. Uh-huh, yeah, over here. He grabs my arm and starts walking. It's super damp still. Hey, wait. Why is your flesh so soggy? It's all good. Just shut up and follow my lead. I'm not trying to piggyback you or getting in or anything. Relax. I like you're how he's slowly pushing towards you're the edge You're saying it out loud and clear, Kensuke. Soggy Ken, soggy Ev, get Ken. it right. Even the floor in the hallway is soggy. <laughs> That's all from him. It's, it's just oils. <laughs> soggy Ken forcefully pulls me along, and we've come to the building consecrated with special classrooms. <laughs> Words. Right here, the mystery club uses the room next to the social studies room. I see a plaque reading social studies study room. I sigh. That, that's significant. Like, I, I, sometimes with like visual novels, uh, there's some information that they give you that I just yeah, that doesn't need to be said. Sorry, Sa Soggy Ken, but I don't intend to join the club in the first place. Are you are you serious? You're gonna be the one of the go home club members? Not exactly. Is that just people that go home after school? Probably. Anyway, I don't plan on joining a club. So you? Actually, no. You did drama. You probably would do drama. Listen up, new guy. Let me tell you something as your best friend. Actually, I'm really proud of you for doing drama. It's, you know, I know Thanks. that you like performing and like that's your thing, but the rest of your personality ar ar archetype would be like to not join a club. Yeah. And you did. And you like met people. Yeah. And you dated a person. And yeah. then you dated me. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I know. But <laughs> it, like... It, it was barely anything. <laughs> okay. Well, the point is you interacted with people. Best friend. I'm sorry. Friend. I didn't need to be like... <laughs> Your life! <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the theory that your 17th year is your strongest? Nope. Never heard of it. Well, Ev, we're fucked. It'll take all day to explain, so I'll summarize Jesus. it. Anyway, you're basically invincible while you're 17. And this is why, like, uh, people die by doing stupid stunts, like jumping off bridges and wrecking You shouldn't the car make such bridge. fruitless decisions like the Go Home Club while you're invincible. That's it! Here's a grape! <laughs> what? He was making fruitless decisions. Fruitless decisions! So he needed fruit. Pineapple! 
Now that you understand that, just go visit it once. We'll talk after. You don't like tropical fruits? Fine. Go get them, partner. Here's an apple. Uh, no, wait. How about an avocado? That's technically a fruit. Soggy Ken reaches for the fruit. Oh, if you want to get real exotic, here's a tomato. Are you interested in my club? Her voice sticks in my eardrums, and a pleasant fragrance ah. sticks in my nose. I heard that. I wonder yeah. if that picked up on the microphone. That was my hip. Wandering new kid? Kaorin! I turn around to see yet Kaori Yamashiro. Oh, hi. It's good to see you shopping around the clubs on your first day. A lot of these kids go right home. Oh, uh, it's not what it looks like. Kensuke forced me here and... <laughs> Ken Soggy Ken reaches around from behind me and covers my oh, mouth with his With his, his hand. soggy, with fleshy his hands. slimy flesh. Yeah, Kaorin, he said he's dying to learn about tribal studies. He dragged me over here saying the only club he's interested in is the Mystery Club, and he wanted my help. If she doesn't see the dress, she's a moron. Sure doesn't look that way. Oh, he's just a little shy, right? Right? <laughs> Kinscape, what are you... As you may already know, the Tribal Studies Research Club is not official. This is purely my own personal group. That's why I'm not accepting applications. I've only talked to a few freshmen and juniors to get set up. Oh, I know. Club activities will vary. In a nutshell, we'll be researching the world's mysteries from a tribal view. See, I told you, mystery club, right? Mystery club sounds too informal, don't you think? It'll take a name like Tribal Studies Research to get approval. But it's the mystery club for short. Whatever. I don't care about its unofficial name. I don't care what the unofficial name is. In any case, I don't intend to increase that count, but... New kid? Yes? I clearly didn't care enough about you to learn your name yet. Yeah, if y even if it sounds vaguely reminiscent of a major taco franchise. If you are interested, maybe I'll give you a special entrance screening. What? Seriously? You're giving him a chance to join the club? He doesn't have any friends, Soggy Ken. <laughs> I'm actually a little curious about you personally. Miss Yamashiro smiles slightly. My major was in Japanese tribal studies. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. We study how the people of Japan came to realize their values and lifestyles in this small island nation. Aw, Kaorin, I feel you! I don't understand you, but I feel you. He's like got his yeah. hands like hovering. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Let's see, to put this in layman's terms, it's the process of facing death, for example. Uh. We're gonna push you off a bridge this your initiation. <laughs> yeah. There's a legend in Mihati town. Mihate. Mihate town about the Yomobito, where the dead return to this world. How did that legend begin? Uh, it's not like it's I studied a, it's it or a anything. Rhetorical question. Oh, I was like, it's not like I studied it or anything. Humans can't ignore death. I feel that this legend has to be a root in a deeper tradition. So she's the one who wrote this a book or a romance novel. Yeah, all about it's, this. It's, it's it's about this, but it's smut. And she wants to explore it more deeply, and it was a, and it's a huge hit. And they're going to make a movie out of it, supposedly. Cool. If you're interested in joining my club, write me a thesis paper. The length is up to you. I will judge you accordingly. Understood. I'll have it ready by tomorrow. Not you. I read your essay the other day. Soggy. I was impressed by your thoroughness, but I can hardly call it a thesis. It was <laughs> it's a just a piece of... It's it just a splatter of semen on a piece of oh, paper. Oh, I was going to say it was a essay about the curvature of my ass including like <laughs> diagrams how and, like, do i compare to the two and, and, plump like, watermelons and like physics equations on the side yeah that's the kind of thing you should be sending as a love letter to a classmate not to me oh i guess my feelings just couldn't reach you the themes weren't compatible with our hearts uh, you know i'm like twice your age right uh themes huh this then this time the theme of your essay will be hmm Uh, you know, carbon, water. What you made of, kid? Proteins. What makes you tick? That's right, new kid. What, what are you made of? What makes you tick? That's what I want to know. What makes you dick? Uh. You're clearly made of an Americanized Mexican franchise. What I'm made of? Uh, cornstarch, uh, <laughs> processed meat. Something that's probably considered cheese. Yeah. 
confetti that's cheese flavored. I feel a piercing sensation in my heart. Where's cheese confetti? I want cheese confetti. What am I? Who am I? I? Who am I? Uh, I thought you weren't letting anyone new join the club. Oh, oh no, wrong her. person. Uh, how? <laughs> She's super en enigmatic and what soft, so what mysterious. Okay. <laughs> soft spoken. Okay. Okay. Are you letting new people in the club? Sure, that works. Uh, that girl from- it's her, that girl from class, the one who stared at me, or so I thought. Mia, did you bring the textbooks- Teacher. Oh. Mia, did you bring the textbooks from the classroom? Yes. <laughs> Have you two met already? This is Miyama, the from the same class. Miyamana. <laughs> Miyamana, from the same class. Oh, no. Not yet. Well, here she is! Miyamana! Bam! Or like, Mew. Aww. I lower my head slightly as if to say hello. But Mew seems to have no she intention like of lowers making his head onto the floor. <laughs> That's kind of awkward, huh? No one gives a shit about you, Soggy Ken. <laughs> Mew, the Tribal Studies Research Club is my personal activity. I'll choose if we add new members or not. Hmm. But before that, I'm not sure if he has any motivation to begin with. I'll look forward to your report. She smiles slightly again, then goes into the study room with Mew Amana. Is that the end? Yes. Okay, cool. We will stop. We will save and stop this episode I am here. intrigued, but it is my bedtime. <clears throat> yeah. Well, if you're intrigued, we'll, we can keep going next time on Manly Voices, you know. Is there something right, you'd want to continue? Right, everybody. Yes, I would like to continue, but not this evening, as yeah. it is past my bedtime. Yes. Uh, yeah, so thank you, everybody, yes. so much for watching. Uh, if you like this episode, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment on what other voice adventures you'd like us to do next, or continue old ones, whatever. You know, and if you make drunken noodles for your fiancé, make sure you cook the noodles thoroughly. That's so true. So as not to break his jaw. My jaw's not broken, but I'm okay. I will be accepting donations. I will put up a Go Patreon yeah. or GoFundMe. <laughs> uh, until next time. Do a weekly subs uh, do a weekly subscription to help with uh, Evan's jaw uh, stuff. Uh, he's traumatized oh, yeah. from the Deeply. noodles. Please keep your money. Goodbye. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Soggy Ken, for our sponsor this evening. Goodbye.